Hello, I'm Debbie from acrylicpouring.com here today to do another painting experiment. Before we begin, we're having a really noisy day here in the Caribbean. We've got a bit of a storm going past our island today and so if you can hear the wind howling in the background, that's what it is. Makes it a great day to paint but not a great day to video. So I apologise if you can hear this constant whistling. So today I've got Da da! My Liquitex pouring medium. I've been waiting for this for such a long time. I can't buy it here on the island, so I've had to have it imported. Um, and because it's so heavy, I couldn't pay for um, airmail. I had to have it put on a container ship along with a lot of other bits and pieces and sent over. And it takes weeks, and then I still have to wait for it to clear customs and so on. But eventually, I have it. So here we are the Holy Grail Liquitex pouring medium. Um, everyone pretty much started off using this for their acrylic pouring and I know a lot of people have uh, still swear by it, still think it's the best, whereas others, you know, when this became unavailable for a time, people tried out other products. And so um, I always started off with using the Flow Troll here as my pouring medium because I could buy this on the island. It's not too expensive. I think this cost me about 12 or $13 here, whereas this this cost me, by the time I'd paid for the shipping and the duty, this cost me about $50. So it was significantly more expensive for basically, well, they're both 946, so they're both exactly the same volume. So I'm going to try today to work out if it's worth it, me spending this money, or whether I should just stick with the flow troll. So my experiment will be with these four colours. I've got white, orange, lemon yellow, and magenta. And they're nice and bright. I'm going to mix them all together in a flip cup. One of them I'm going to do just with the pouring medium and water. One of them I'm going to do with flow troll and water. And one of them I'm going to mix 50-50 pouring medium and flow troll and water. So you don't need to watch me mixing up all the paints. I will um, just make a start with one of them and talk through the recipe that I'm going to use. So let's clear all this to, to one side. I'll get started and then we'll mix some paint. So I've got my pouring mediums, uh, first of all. These ones all have a, a half a tablespoon of Floetrol. These ones all have a half a tablespoon of pouring medium. And these ones here have half and half pouring medium and Floetrol. And obviously it's a very white shot, there's not much going on. Um, and now I'm gonna add into each um, my paints and they will all get the same amount, one tablespoon of paint in each one. So to make it easy, I'm just going to do my paints all at once. There's pink. Let's do another pink. And I thought this would be the best way for me to compare, not only to see, you know, how the paints mix, whether there's any difference, whether the colours look different, you know, whether I get any um, different cells or whether the paint reacts differently. Oops. Well, that's gone in there, so I better swap that over. Um, whether the paint reacts any differently on the tile, whether it flows differently, and also, of course, whether it dries differently. Because I've heard that the flow troll will make it dry more flat and uh, a matte finish, whereas the pouring medium gives the paint a bit more volume when it's dry. It doesn't lose its volume. Um, and... Uh, also, it's more glossy. So it'll be interesting to see whether the, I get those effects too. So I'm gonna start mixing the paints. I've got my yellow, the orange, and the white. You don't need to see me do that. And then I'll add a similar amount of water into each, get the right consistency, and then we'll start on a pour.
So that was a, a pretty marathon mixing session. I wouldn't want to have to mix 12 cups of paint every time I wanted to pour a little something. So just to recap, I've got my Floetrol pouring medium and then 50-50 Floetrol and pouring medium in this one. It's one tablespoon of paint to a half a tablespoon of the pouring medium and then water as necessary. So my initial impressions were that it didn't really mix up any different. They all look the same, they feel the same, they mix the same. One didn't make a greater volume of paint than the other, for example. So the pouring medium wasn't thicker, that I had to add more water. Everything's basically the same. I've also added in some spots, um, four spots in all of the colours of the Treadmill Belt lubricant. It's the 100% silicon oil, so I've included that in all the colours. So now, to make it... Um, uh, a proper test and rather than do uh, any kind of manual pour I'm going to do a flip cup so it will take hopefully the human element out of the equation so what I'm going to do is just take my colors I've got my flip cups here layer them in the cups throw them on the tiles and then we'll see what happens so let's start with this one first of all a bit of white oh goodness all over the table that's just great I'm really lucky with this plastic actually I bought quite a good quality plastic and um, it washes out beautifully every time. So I'm still only um, on the second sheet of plastic on my table because it just um, cleans the paint straight off. So I think it's worth investing in um, better plastic and reusing it rather than you know the cheap stuff that kind of has to be replaced every time. But that's just me. Okay, that was messy. Right, so my white, let's add some orange. Whoop. Okay, let's bring in my tiles. We'll zoom out a little bit more now so we can get everything in the shot. Okay, there we go. So this is Floetrol only. This is the pouring medium only. And then this is the 50-50 mix. So I should probably work in this direction and I'm just gonna flip them. So there we go, Floetrol only. This one pouring medium only and this one 50-50 Floetrol and pouring medium. So I'm just going to leave those to settle for a minute and then I'll come back and we'll flip them. So I've just washed my hands, given them a couple of minutes to settle and I can see the paint already kind of falling away from the top of the cup so I think everything is good to go. There's a lot of paint here so I think it's going to be messy. So I've got a cloth and we'll see how it goes. First one, this is the Floetrol only. Okay, this one is the pouring medium only. And this one is our 50-50 mix between the flow troll and the pouring medium. So other than the fact that this one looks a bit more yellow and white and these two are a bit more orange, I'm not seeing any real noticeable differences. I would say that um, this one with the pouring medium 
doesn't really have much in the way of any cells. This one with the Floetrol has got more cells and this one here with the mixture is a bit mixed. It's got some areas of cells and some areas not. So I guess I should give it a torch and then we'll tilt them and see what happens. So I'll torch them all lightly to start with. Get rid of any bubbles. Again, there's not much difference. They're all looking pretty similar now. Not seeing uh, much difference at all. So I'm just going to carry on tilting them. Make sure the tiles are all covered. And then we'll take a look in the end. This one is just the flow troll. Looking nice. Oh, just need to do a little bit more of a tip this way. A little bit more off that edge. Okay. Yeah, I think this is going to get a bit messy. Okay, so this one is our pouring medium only. of my paint and then this one is our mix this is the pouring medium and flow troll both together so as I'm moving the paint around I'm not noticing any real difference in the way it flows I mean, the consistency of the paints when I mixed them was all the same anyway the same kind of thickness so I wouldn't have expected any differences but still it would be interesting to see if there was or not um, the last corner Okay, so I'm just going to wipe up a minute, because that was pretty messy. I've got paint all over my hands. I'm still preferring though to work without gloves, because I find the gloves are good, but they feel a bit clumsy. And when they get wet with the paint, they get really slippery, and then I feel like I'm out of control. So let's take a look. This one, the Floetrol only, appears to have more cells. This one with the pouring medium has got some, but not as well defined as some of these. And this one again, a bit mixed. It's got some um, stretched out areas, some other areas. A lot of it, of course, is just how much I tipped and things. So it's never gonna be an equal comparison. But what I'm not seeing is anything that stands out one way or another right now. So in the name of experimentation, let's give them another torch and see if anything else happens. torch is really low on gas so I'm just going to turn off and fill the torch up and then I'll give it another one okay so I'm not seeing a whole bunch of difference in all three results I'm actually preferring this one which is flow troll only at the moment but, you know, we'll give it a little while to develop and I'll bring you down and show you the details and we'll have a look at the side by side comparison of them. So this is the one that was just the flow troll. Take you in to see some of the details. It looks nice. The cells look well defined. There's lots of them. So that's a good one. This one was just the pouring medium. That's what it looks like. And I'm seeing um, less cells, less activity, less um, definition, I think, in this one. But again, you know, it's very hard to say we're just on one experiment. 
but there's not so much there I think as with the flow drop. And then this third one, this is the one where we mixed um, the half uh, pouring medium and half flow troll. And it looks a little bit different to the others. Um, see if I can get my finger in. Just, where am I, where's my finger? Just here. You see, oh, <laughs> it doesn't help to put my finger in it. But there's some areas where they kind of, it's broken up a little bit here and here. And, um, and this area here looks a little bit broken up. Whereas there are some really nice cells up in this corner. So anyway, there we go. That's the third one. So to recap, this is the flow troll only. This one is pouring medium only. And this one is 50-50 pouring medium and flow troll. So now I just need to um, make sure all the corners are dried, uh, covered rather, dry them varnish them and we'll take a look in the end and see what they came out like. Well, I am embarrassed to say that I think this just might be the ugliest and most unsuccessful experiment I have ever seen. Well, I don't know. Remember those neon ones? The neon paints were really bad too. So I don't think this is as bad as the neon paints, but it's still pretty bad. Anyway, I've obviously picked colours that really didn't work together at all. Um, there was an orange, a magenta and a yellow. And, you know, they looked great in the... Um, in the pots, but when I've put them together, it really doesn't look good. Anyway, let's look at the result of our experiment. This first one was with Floetrol only, and it has some cells, you know, here and here, it's quite nice. The paint has dried to a fairly matte finish, and it's flat. There's almost no texture to it. It's a little bit here where maybe the paint was thicker. So it's matte and it's flat and um, otherwise the surface is good. I've got no problems with the surface. There's no cracks or crazing, no, um, no pinholes. That one's good. This one is the pouring medium only and it's mostly matte, but it has some areas. The pink, for some reason, is still slightly glossy, but for the most part, I think you can see there the pink, a bit glossy. For the most part, it's still matte. It also has more texture, so when I run my fingers over, there's some patches, you know, where you can actually see the texture. So it seems the paint has dried with a little bit more fullness to it, perhaps. However, what I have got is holes. You see them here? I've got some holes in the paint just here, and also I've got some cracks in the paint just here. So this one was the pouring medium and nothing else. Um, the cells really didn't work very well on this one. You know, that could just be coincidence, could not be. But I did end up with um, a slightly glossier surface, but I did get some holes and some cracking. This one here was probably um, the least successful. This one was 50% pouring medium and 50% flow troll. And it's, I suppose, a bit of a combination between the two. It's kind of flat, but it's got a little bit um, more texture. It's kind of matte. Um, yeah, pretty much matte. There's not much shine left to it. It's got some cells and then an, all, uh, an area where things are kind of, you know, broken up and muddied and the colours are kind of broken up and there's no cells. This one also has a nice selection of holes and it also has some really big cracks and things here. So aside from the fact that these are as ugly as hell <laughs> and um, they've all got problems and issues, I don't think really it's um, given me any surprises. The one with the pouring medium only had slightly more texture. So there was more, the paint were fuller when it dried and it was slightly more glossy the flow troll was more matte and more flat, so it had less volume when it dried. Um, and this one was kind of, you know, a combination between the two. But I was surprised that both of these that had the pouring medium, they ended up with holes and cracks, whereas the one with flow troll only didn't. So that was interesting to me. I think I'm going to go on and do a swipe next. And I'll use a combination of the flow troll and the pouring medium. And I'll do two side-by-side side side swipes and we'll see what we get. But it's too early, I think, just from this simple um, 
horrible experiment to work out if there's much in the way of any difference that means that I should pay more than $50 for a bottle or whether I should stick with my $11 or $12 for my Floatron. So we'll see. Anyway, thank you very much for following along with the experiment. I hope um, it's been, you know, a little bit useful. At least it's told you not to put these horrible colours together because they didn't work for me. So thank you very much. See you at acrylicpouring.com very soon.